to yet another episode of Hot Hardware's Two and a Half Geeks. Uh, a little bit of a different format tonight, as you can see. We've uh, we've got a game in the background and two lovely people in the foreground, and I'm up here in the top corner, and <laughs> it's quite the setup. But uh, yes, as we promised, we are now uh, going to do a little bit of live game streaming of The Outer Worlds. And uh, down down here in your bottom bottom right corner are the fabulous Gettings, Brittany, Brittany, and Chris no. Getting. Dave, How I are you guys doing tonight? Microphone. I'm on the wrong microphone. <laughs> I don't believe or that for a minute. Or you're peeking like crazy. Oh really? Okay. Well, let me let me fix that. Um, so I'm I'm breaking up, am I? Yeah. Levels. Let's go to levels and uh, yeah, and and keep moving here. Oh, I can see why. This is yeah. probably a little bit better now, right? That uh, that good. That is much better. That's better. That is much better. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, I blew everybody out. Welcome back. We're here to do a little bit of game streaming with the Outer Worlds, and uh, yeah. So, Chris and Brittany are going to fire this up, but let's give yes. you a little bit of backdrop here. Um, what you're looking at in the bottom left corner, if I, I believe, if I have my direction <laughs> right. correct. Uh, the Falcon Northwest system giveaway that we have going on at HotHardware.com right now uh, is is up. You you have like one more day to get in on this thing. We're we're going to end it uh, tomorrow actually, but up for grabs is a 20th anniversary edition Talon um, Falcon Northwest gaming PC, which mid mid size case, beautiful machine. You can see it down there. We've got a couple of pictures of it. Great paint job, adorned in uh, the Outer Worlds graphics. Powered by an AMD Ryzen 7 3800X 8-core CPU, 16, uh, no, 32 gigs of RAM, and an AMD Radeon 7 uh, 16-gig GPU under the hood, as well as a 1-terabyte Intel um, NVMe SSD, all the good stuff. And, yeah, you could win it. Um, but um, we, we teamed up with the folks at AMD and Falcon Northwest and Obsidian Entertainment uh, to bring this rig together. And uh, it is it is adorned with some pretty cool graphics uh, for uh, the game The Outer Worlds, which you're looking at here. Guys, what do you think, Chris, Brittany? Mm -hmm. um, have you been have you d delved into this game at all? Have you have you poked um, around we, so much about it? We wanted to, but this is going to be the the first we've played it. We have watched a little bit of uh, streaming. A stream. of it. Yeah, so we, we're familiar with the general gameplay and the storyline and all of that good stuff, but. So, so this is, this is a uh, first-person shooter style, uh, space-inspired sci-fi thriller. <laughs> Open-world kind of extravaganza, yes. Yeah. Okay, yes, the outer open worlds. The outer apparently. open worlds. And we should probably so. add, too, this giveaway is in honor of our 20th anniversary, so... Right. Everybody had <laughs> first experience in this gig, which is why it, it all came yeah. together. Thank, good good point, Brittany. Yes. Yeah, so hothardware.com, we are celebrating our 20th anniversary this year, which is hard to believe. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. and, uh, <laughs> and, and AMD has a 50th anniversary this year. And then, of course, the good folks at Falcon Northwest, our buddy Kelt Reeves, uh, CEO and founder of Falcon Northwest, uh, mm -hmm. founded his, his uh, Talon system 20 years ago. Falcon Northwest is actually a little bit older than 20 years old, mm -hmm. which which is really dating them. They're old people over there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> old is relative, though. Mm -hmm. right. But uh, you guys, you two, you you are you are youngins compared. <laughs> we're youngins compared. Oh, Outer Worlds is a youngin compared. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're going to be streaming this game today as it is. Yeah. The beautiful skin on the rig that we're giving away. And I've thrown together my streaming setup in just a few minutes. So if sound levels are out of whack, if <laughs> things are skipping or anything else, just holler in the chat. We're watching it and I'll do my best to, to fix it and make it smooth. But that's yes. on me. And uh, thank you, Arbushi, I believe is how you pronounce your username. We hope that we will enjoy the game. And of course, um, if you guys have any, as this is our first time playing, if you have any tips or tricks, you know, no intense backseat gaming. But if you have some tips or tricks to help with the gameplay, Please feel free to leave it in the comments. If you're frustrated because and... I'm running around for <laughs> an hour in a circle. Uh... Right. Um, or something like that. We do appreciate it. So Nice. Yeah. Nice. And I did drop a link in the chat where folks can uh, enter the giveaway yes. for this beautiful gaming rig. I'll drop it in again one more time. Yeah, it's um, in the description as well. Yes. In the right. description as well. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you can get in it and win it. And this this is like a... And it's like a five thousand dollar killer gaming rig. Yeah. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, 
and uh, a beautiful game, hopefully, that we will experience before your very eyes, yeah. like in any minute now, right? And that, yep, and to add about the giveaway, too, um, it really is mostly just liking oh. social media accounts, commenting on the posts that we have it in. So it's really easy. It's hopefully people you are probably already following anyway or would like to follow um, to see what they are up to. So it's really easy, and as Dave pointed out, there's only a day left in the giveaway. And it is North America only. It is International America shipping only. is... Yeah. A huge obstacle. We're sorry. <laughs> we wish. Yeah. We wish I believe we could. it is the United States and Canada, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It is. It's United States and Canada only, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah, gl globally is a pain in the butt with tariffs and, um, you know, international shipping laws and all this kind of crazy, crazy stuff. So we kept it simple. North right. America. Okay. So with that being said, let's create a character. <laughs> Run it. Run, Run it. it. Run this okay. game. So, I want to see it. I'm excited. All right, so. guys. We have six points. Should we be mostly strong, mostly dexterous, mostly intelligent, perceptive, charming, or temperamental? We can cut be charming. Be charming, yeah, damn it. Let's, let's go with charming. You want to go with charming? Okay. Because we are also charming. <laughs> That's one point. Let's give it another click. You want to give it another click? Let's just see what happens. Um, and then I am not feeling the most perceptive person today so let's let's knock that down a point. you know <laughs> in honor of my prospectus defense though let's up intelligence yeah yeah right. <laughs> uh let's go i feel like we should be strong yeah let's, let's give up strong. a point to each that and dexterity and dexterity and then we have two points left and let's be really grumpy let's be really grumpy you want to take temperament down okay Below average. <laughs> no, I want passive health regeneration. I'm oh, putting that back okay. up. <laughs> In All fact, right. I'm going to up that because I want health regeneration. Okay. Um, and let's give our last point. Attitude's everything. You got to remember that. Right. Exactly. Right. Uh, Want to go strength or dexterity for the last point? All right. Maybe. Just... Let's do dexterity because I think that's going to be good. Okay. All right. All right. Points available. What kind of guns do we want? Right. Let's see. Guns, weapons. All right, so let's let's do range because shooting stuff is always is always good. My style. And how about stealth? I'm a big fan of usually being stealthy. Stealth, okay, yes. we'll try it. I mean, in Skyrim, you always end up as a stealth archer no matter no what. Matter so what, we might anyway. as well jump right there. Okay, aptitude bonus. Oh. Oh, and there is our dog <laughs> joining us. Freckles. Freckles is going to mm -hmm. join. Nice. He's going to yeah. join us. Um, let's do... She got some serious tap shoes going on, that she Freckles. She does, yes. Yeah. She's due for a nail trim. Um, let's do aptitude bonus with the persuade. We'll be cashier subgrade non-supervisory. <laughs> no transaction is finished without a smile. You live for the conchunk of a bit of cartridge getting inserted right side up, the redemption of loyalty points, and the promise of a good day. Come back real soon, bye-bye now, are more than empty words. They're a promise and a standard you intend on carrying to the frontier. So I think with that being said, that is what we will go with. All right. All right. Well, what shall we do? I feel like we need. I think we want to randomize. So how do we random? X, X, X will randomize. Oh wow! That's quite a stash. Okay, yeah, I like that. Yeah, because we could probably be here for years yeah, if we went he's, through he's, all the. This is our guy. All the. Yeah. I like the paint. Yeah. I like the hair. He's Hot our guy. Face, so. Okay. Totally. What's our name? Our name is Hot. No, no. Well, no. Do we have a better name? No, I'm just gonna name him Hot. No. Yeah, just go with that, we're man. Going yeah. We're All going right. simple here. Yeah, <laughs> keep it, keep it, keep it Remember, simple. our perception is down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, perfect. Beautiful. Oh, wow. And now we are being awakened. Impressive game engine. It is. There we go. It's beautiful. Ooh, I might be dropping frames, but let me know if it looks like it's an issue. Looks okay so far, I do believe. What's Arbushi, this guy we doing? Are glad that you entered the giveaway. <laughs> Tell yeah. your friends. So yeah, it looks like so he's escaping. Some we're being rescued by this guy. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Oh, he's having issues. Yeah. Everybody's got issues. <laughs> We've all got problems. We've all got issues. <laughs> <laughs> Neo no Linkster says no sound. sound. Okay. Uh, I okay. was worried that might happen. 
Yeah, we got mic sound. Uh, uh, we must. From nice. the game, yes. Got it. Yeah, solid game engine. Yeah. I wonder what, what it's based on. I have to look that up. I have to look it up, yeah. I'll find that. I don't quite remember off the top of my head. Uh, no. Oh, it's Unreal Engine, but of course. Of course. Unreal Engine 4. We did, just in case for everybody, we did put subtitles. They do. It does have subtitles, so... That's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always a big fan of subtitles and everything anyway, because I am I feel like I'm deaf sometimes. Yeah, we were hearing it before. I think I know you turned down the music a little, Chris, but I don't know if you. Yeah, you should lost. you should be hearing it as far as I thought. If I if that doesn't turn it on there, does it? Stream side. Um, yeah, I'm not hearing it at all. It's weird unfortunately. As it's not showing in my volume mixer in OBS. Yeah. Well, if you don't get it sorted, you can always just dive in. Yeah. Well, for those who are wondering, um, we are being awakened from a from a asleep by this guy and our responsibility is to get out of the ship and collect resources to awaken all the other people who are currently um, asleep and find the right chemicals or something like that. And he can't do it himself because apparently he's a fugitive. So he's sending us instead. So that is where we are going. We're going down to the surface, the first planet now. Gotcha. Yeah. The Halcyon Observer. Oh, there you are. You're in your little pod we're in a little pod you got some nice gloves yeah some look like quality outerwear hmm <laughs> <laughs> Chris is Chris is dialing hard the knobs feverishly. I am work. not finding what I'm after. Desktop <laughs> audio. That might do it. Okay. And then I'll have to mute. Okay, Dave, can you say something? Hey, I'm saying something. Okay. Can you hear the game now? Can you hear Dave Negative. and the game? Well, I I don't hear you, the game. You won't hear the game because you're okay. on Skype. But. Yeah. Okay, gallery, chat, chat gallery. Please inform us if. If you hear the game. Yeah, Neo Linkster are relying on you right now. Neo Linkster, yes. What say you? My he friend. says yeah. He says yeah. Can you yeah, hear both good. the game and Dave? Sounds like we have a lot we have a lot of stuff so trying if want, to get If you want to start right running now. around, we'll I'm gonna we'll start running around <laughs> because I am super pumped to play this. <laughs> that is gorgeous. But you can not it hear wow. Dave. It's a it's a really good looking game, yeah. Look at this. Can I, can I pick it up? That, that, that's Dave, by the way, in case it wasn't <laughs> obvious. Arbushi says the, it's all it's there. It's all there. Okay. Awesome. Can I pick up stuff yet? No. Oh, yeah, you can collect, like, all the plants and stuff. Can I collect? It's, can I collect? I want to collect. It's very easy to draw a lot of uh, comparisons to Fallout. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's the same DNA, and that's not a bad thing. No. So when you say it's the same DNA, you mean the folks that the folks that developed this game are right. uh, did some Fallout work? Yes, they yeah, they developed uh, Fallout. New Vegas. New Vegas. Okay, yeah, that's right. Did. Yeah, I did hear that. <clears throat> so this is. Uh, it, it looks. Uh, it's definitely oh, set in a uh, intergalactic venue. There's creatures I don't I don't Control. identify as being Control. earthly. There we, there we go. What did you just do, Brittany? Um, just crouch down. To... Just crouch down to. Oh, oh, get in. Get in the cavern here. You got a light stick. Unforeseen side effects. That's always encouraging. Brittany's playing. 
by the way. Chris is spectating, correct? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're, oh, you're, yeah. you're no, arm, armchair playing? Yeah. I'm here for a little uh, color commentary. Oh, here's a friend. We might switch out in a bit. We'll we see. Might. Hi, friend. Hi, guard. Yeah, Pell him. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, He's a very suave, suave-looking dude. Oh. I'm jealous. He's got some serious hair follicles going on. He has some serious hair follicles. Mm. Dang it! I need, need to get me some game hair follicles. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a obsidian can help you out. Better, you. So again, if you're just joining us, we are playing the Outer Worlds. Uh, you're looking at uh, Chris. And Brittany Getting of Hot Hardware. I'm Dave Altavilla from Hot Hardware. And uh, the reason we're playing this game is because we teamed up with um, some some good friends at uh, Falcon Northwest, as well as AMD, um, to pull together a killer gaming rig giveaway, the Falcon Northwest Talon. You'll see specs for that in the bottom left corner. Yes, specs on the bottom left. <clears throat> all, all AMD powered rig and, um, and adorned with a killer paint job by the folks of Falcon Northwest uh, that is there's a shot of it there the outer worlds yeah there you go inspired by the outer worlds or it, it is actually the outer worlds graphics so pretty cool stuff this is a beautiful system 8 core Ryzen 7 3800X um, Ra Radeon 7 uh, 16 gig GPU and 32 gigs of RAM and a 1 terabyte Intel NVMe solid state drive I mean, dialed. Custom cables, and I, liquid cooling, all that. Yeah. yeah. And I dropped a link in the uh, the chat. It's well. It's also in the description. It's also in the comments. So you can't miss it. If you want to get in, you can win this thing. Actually, the um, the giveaway ends tomorrow. Entries are closing tomorrow night at midnight. Actually, or just before Saturday yeah. midnight. And. Um, yeah, but you don't have to, you know, getting in at the last minute doesn't give you any less of a chance to get in. You, you just, okay. there's a bunch of things to do, like and follow and all that stuff that you can do in the Gleam uh, app that we have on the site. Uh, but you can get in and have just as good a shot as anybody and at this late juncture. And Gleam's super good with giveaways. They make it so easy to enter and it's really nice. Oh, I'm so glad cool. our weapon's now 30% less likely to malfunction. That's that's helpful. <laughs> is that is that is that is that good? Like, did, did Guard Pelham help you with that? Yes, Guard yeah. Pelham's helping us out. So, out of boy, out of boy, Guard Pelham. So this is a first-person shooter, but um, uh, definitely a sort of thriller RPG mm, flair to it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Open world. Yeah. Be an action or, well, not really an action RPG. That's more like Diablo style. Yeah. Um, like we've mentioned, it's, it's a, very similar to Fallout. A lot of the people that worked at Fallout New Vegas are the people that also worked on this game. So there's a lot of similarities between them. And for those wondering, I'm the type of person that takes almost like all the conversation options. So <laughs> Give me one second, because unlike the system we're giving away, my system here only has a GTX 970. And I think I've got to tick this down because gonna... I just looked at Task Manager and it's crying. <laughs> <laughs> zoom, there you go. So, go back to my forgive friend, us. Guard Pelham. I'll be dropping from the feed eventually, and then that will save you some resources on my feed too. Yeah, so. I just looked at GPU, and it's it's pinned. Oh, there's a there's a lot of beautiful graphical potential to this game. Well, we need to get you a new GPU, Chris, um, and we have those. We have those kicking around, folks. If you haven't stopped by hothardware.com, which is where the contest link that I tossed in the chat is is located. Um, we review and uh, report on in the news lots of things relative yes. to uh, PC gaming. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the oh. tactical time dilation button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as ah, take action. I need that. Why I can't need, that exist that. in the real world? In the real, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've got the hibernation that. part down. You got the hibernation? <laughs> yeah. Can I right? get him? Look at that. That. You, have, you got a pistol. Oh, so this is like bullet time-ish. Oh. Yeah. Right? Definitely is that bullet time or uh, VATS as they call it in Fallout. Yeah. Though yep. works a, a bit oh. differently than VATS would because with that, it goes slow motion, but then you pick different parts of the body to shoot at. 
Um, this is letting you control exactly where you want to place your shots. So. Yeah, so it is hacking and picking locks. Okay. Good to know that's in here. Yeah. Oh. Actually, probably should have read Campfire that. Fire crackling. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll figure out how to we'll fix We'll figure that out. I probably that's, actually should have... That's what chat's for. Yeah, I probably should have... Uh, yes. Chat is the tutorials. Oh, it's, I needed the... That's why. I figured uh, it out. So, Arbushi, we actually haven't played Mass Effect, so if it's similar to Mass Effect, then uh, yeah, I guess it is. Um, Now, from what I know of Mass Effect <clears throat> is I think the story is a bit more linear. Um, I could be wrong about that, whereas... Uh, Fallout's more open, but again, I, I haven't played Mass Effect, so I'm not exactly sure how open those games are I in see. terms of storylines and quests and all that. I did just notice that you have to get really um, oh. close to the... I'm, I'm looking at our stuff. You have to get really close to the body to... Um, to loot. To loot it. Wow, that's a sentence that should never be said in real life. Um, <laughs> <laughs> need to yeah. get close to the body to, to loot it. it. You have to get close to that's the body to loot some, it. There's it, you know, and it, physics. They 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 involve. They're involved everywhere in life. It's amazing. Right. It's a, it's amazing. <laughs> Um, okay, so there we go. I, I'm gonna have to remember that. That's awesome. <laughs> Stand over the body and pressy. E. It's fine. It's, it's totally no one will ask any questions. <laughs> Brittany said it. Right? Can you I, heard I, it first I, here? Yes, it was Brittany. Uh, ooh, nice touch shot. Thank Funny. you. Huh? Oh, he's still there. Oh, come on. I was. Oh. Are you dead? Are you, oh no, you're you're close to me. No, you no you. Naughty melee. Die. Melee. Do we have a melee weapon? I haven't. We have kind of a we have like kind a, of one. Yeah. Um. Oh, I'm stuck behind a tree. That would that would help to not be stuck behind a tree. So yeah, you do get a little health regeneration. Yeah, that's why I was like, we're keeping that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so Arbushi, okay, so I suggest you play all the Mass Effect games because you're missing out. This okay. game is very much like Mass Effect to me, but I never played Fallout, so maybe they are both May similar. I will have to check it out because I love games like that. I think I've talked about it in Two, half, two and a Half Geeks before. This type of stuff is right up my alley um, in my spare time. I find it to be the most, you know, the most kind, the relaxing kind of games that you can play, so. The yeah. world here is impressive. It's I mean, beautiful. It, I know, the foliage yeah, is really. super dense. I like I like the color. I mean, there's so many games out now that are just really they go with the dark all the time. Everything's dark. It's hiding yeah, in the shadows. Yeah, this is I, I like light and color. Yeah, this, this is, is good. Vibrant. Yeah. And without being too cartoony or anything. Yeah, it's not cartoony at all, which is. I mean, the the polygon rendering oh, those are is, nice people. is quite uh, similar to Fallout style, uh, mm. which I like. It's I mean it's. Mostly realistic, but it's not hyper realistic, so you don't really fall into that uncanny valley. Yeah, it's not uncanny valley. Right. Yeah, it's not trying that hard. Yeah. Yeah. It's got the depth of field effect there, so. Got some nice uh, reflections on the side of her face there. Yeah. That lighting. Her eyes are cool. Global illumination or some sort. So. I'm trying to go for nice. I'm. I was gonna say, are these are these uh, <laughs> things that I always do in a game in the beginning? Is one collect all the things, explore all the things, and then whenever I do a playthrough initially, I always go for like the nice playthrough. The nice playthrough. Don't don't hurt. Yeah. Help mm -hmm. help ever hurt never. Is that it? <laughs> Something like that. And then, um, let's see. I mean, we could... do. I want her to come with us. We're, we're pretty weak. I feel like we should. We should persuade. Yeah, we can try it. Let's persuade. Well, sometimes, management's real good at cost oh. benefit analysis. But seeing as yeah, I'm this game's quite uh, situation, cynical of corporations. It is very <laughs> cynical of corporations. We really? Bit, yeah, there's yeah. a little, little bit of that. The it's man. So, it's very you know you do things by policy and comments and stuff and granted so. we haven't seen all of the like the, all of the game before so there could be parts of it that are maybe less it's, like that it's cheeky i think is how yeah, i would cheeky. describe it some of it's quite funny 
a little satirical. Check, oh, okay. check out the ship. That's a cool looking ship. Yeah, that's gonna be our ship. Are we gonna fly that thing? Yeah. Yeah, Sweet. we need to fly that. Well, that was so a guy, so a smuggler was supposed to be rescuing us, and then we accidentally landed on him. So uh, he's dead. So shit happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he's very dead, and um, so we eventually need to get on that ship. I do feel bad that that one kid just died. You really so. do need to get close to loot. Though. You have to get really close to it. Yeah. Yeah. Closer than I feel like a lot of games. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was going to say that the second or third or however many time I play through a game, then I'll go for like the most sarcastic or the meanest or in the case of like Skyrim, you know, you become the assassin thief cannibal person. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Assassin thief cannibal. That's quite a combination. As assassin thief cannibal. You can throw in vampire or werewolf too if you vampire want. Vampire werewolf. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is a ship that we need. But if I remember correctly... That this no we need power. power. Yeah. Everybody needs the juice. Oh, there's your... Uh, it's a nice little uh, game advancement tool. Lieutenant Mercer, right? Is that her? No, it might not be. It might be somebody else. No, this right? is... I think that's the ship personified. This is the ship. Ah, yes. This is the AI, the... This would be the uh, the the um, Alexa, Alexa or Cortana yeah. of the ship. Got it. <clears throat> Anybody in the chat play this game yet? Are we are we like behind the times here, catching up? I think it's pretty new. It's pretty new. It has been out for well. No, it's only been a, a couple of weeks. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. Sorry, she's like jettison procedures initiated, disengaging airlocks, preparing to eject all boarded parties, and our. Uh, two responses are, is something supposed to be happening? And you realize we're on the ground, right? <laughs> Her deception protocols have failed. Yes. She didn't She didn't dial oh. the perception slider been, like we did. She's been programmed to express <laughs> disappointment. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> you triggered my show eight. Yes, I have completed it once. This game lets you do a lot. Yeah. Oh, nice! Uh, oh, the the Echo Show, yeah. yeah. I won't, I won't, I won't say, "Hey, A L E X A" anymore. Right. Because that sorry, one gets sorry, triggered that like that. You know, you know that that's like the one of the funniest things that I ever did in in a review, a video review. When I when I I think I reviewed it was the Lenovo Smart Display, and I was like, I don't know, it was like I was like, "Hey Google," every couple of you know minutes. Yeah. And, Everybody just the comments just lit up. You jerk! You just set off my thing. Like, okay, yeah. sorry, mute. It's right. not going to kill you. <laughs> and uh, you know, if if you're watching a video on those topics, you kind of have it coming. You got it. It's it. Yeah, that's it. I do think Google in general has gotten a little bit better. Like, yeah, our Google's device recognizes about our individual voices. The main drive's power regulator yeah. has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Like I noticed the other day. Um, I was really tired and Google said it had a notification for me. And so I asked the device that we had and it didn't recognize my voice. And I realized it was because my voice had, I was super tired. And so it was really, Oh yeah. wow. No, when my, when I get really tired, my voice gets very, well, it starts to sound like I smoke a pack a day. I don't, but <laughs> when I am tired, uh, it does the, that. The trucker Brittany. Right. But it, it does differentiate between our two voices. So it'll let us know if there's a notification for either of us. All right, what do we do with her? What do we do with ADA, Ada, whatever her name well, is? Well, we need to go find a generator, basically. So, Neo Linkster said he hasn't really been able to play games since 2009. Combination of either a good system and bad internet, or bad system and good internet. So hopefully you're on the good internet side now, and maybe you'll win maybe, yeah. a kick-ass system. Right, which and is down in the bottom left corner. Yeah. 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 As soon as I can figure out which way my thumb goes. Yeah. Over there. It's opposite. Yeah. Okay. Let's explore the ship a little bit, shall we? And we wish we had the system here, but the, the folks at Falcon, Falcon Northwest still have it in their possession. So when it ships out to the winner, it ships out nice and new without our fingerprints. Right. It's very difficult for us to have a beautiful system on hand and not Do like tear touch it? it down, <laughs> examine it, right. and Do we're unspeakable things to it. Yes. Yeah. So, for the best, we promise. <laughs> if you win it, you'll get a fresh system. That's it. 
Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. Now, now, Brittany, let me let me ask you: When yeah. you were talking to ADA there, the 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 ship AI. Yes, yeah, so the ship AI. The, did, did did she keep you that long, or did you just you were just um, she, lingering no, she was, there? She just kept us that long. She was just really chatty. Wow. Yeah. Some of the some some of the um, the uh, whatever the the, yeah. the personas in this game keep you for a while. They're chatty, so yeah. that drags out well, a little bit drag on the on the storyline. A little, a little bit, bit, but it's impressive to have that many lines voice acted, like scripted, <clears throat> voice acted, recorded, right. everything, like. I mean, a lot of that's what makes a triple-A game a triple-A game anymore. It's um, true. It's true. And and let me ask you, because I can't, I can't, I don't have the benefit of that, unfortunately, in my ear. How is the voice acting? It's pretty good. Yeah, it's good. So, yeah, so the really, ship, it, I've got real complaints. her voice is modulated a bit, of course, to sound like, like an AI. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it's not like they're just kind of going through the motions with the lines. There, There is... Uh, depth to the vo- voice acting. So. Yeah, it's not like oh gosh, what's the what's the game? Not Mar- yeah, is it Morrowind that has the really bad oh. voice acting? <laughs> well, it's not that it was bad. It was just it was, it, was just... it was one of the first games to be voice acted to that extent. Yeah. Because um, isn't there like I think it's either in that game or maybe I'm thinking another one where there's that that one person who goes oh let me redo my line and they kept it. In. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's Oblivion. Oblivion, thank you. I was like, I knew it was one of them, I and I couldn't it, remember. Was Morrowind voice acted in it? Yeah, there's some voice yeah. acting in Morrowind. Um, okay, I think I need to go back down. Um, but yeah, the one where she's like, I just think it, that one's really funny. Where she's like, let me t- let me try that line again. Uh, okay, so I want to go to where was I? Just well, we've got our little quest marker back there. I know. I wanted to go to this guy. Oh, okay. And see what I if I can upgrade okay, anything. Enough. Yeah, you have to get, yeah, that's my only complaint so far in the game is you have to get really close to everything, which, I mean, isn't the worst. Um, okay. Not the worst problem. Not the worst problem, but it's... It's a little unnecessary. Yeah, it's something <clears throat> you have to do. Yeah. Um, I guess the opposite end of the spectrum is you get stuff flying across the map to you, which is also a bit lazy. Right. Repair this item. What are you Gosh, repairing? I need oh. To repair. oh, okay. So, uh, well, we're not wow. missing any damage on it, so I don't know if that one's worth. Well, that's worth that repairing. One that's we gonna almost repair. double the damage, eight to fourteen. Um. Wow. Oh, we but we don't have enough parts. I oh. think. What do we need? There's a, there's a lot oh, of yeah, detail, a another... lot of detail in this game, a lot of nuance. Huh? Yeah, you can do a lot with um your weapons, which is kind of cool. A lot of personalization mm. there. Modifications. Modifications and, and yeah. So, I do know that there's even yeah, see how close you have to get? Yeah. I was like, let me out <laughs> So depending on your play style, you can really hone it in and so, and make it play in a way that you would enjoy. It? Yeah. Or just become a stealth archer. There you go. Lieutenant Mercer is being a little sassy. Really? Yeah. She's giving you she's giving you two, is she? Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? I helped your yeah, friend out. <laughs> Took down some marauders. Apparently, illegally. Apparently. <laughs> well, hey guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna okay. drop, but right. um, before I do, I just wanna I just wanna say one more time what what folks are watching here. You're you're watching a live stream of the Outer Worlds, and uh, <clears throat> it is in in honor of our uh, current giveaway that we have going on at HotHarbor.com. With the good folks at Falcon Northwest and AMD, uh, where you could win, bottom left corner here of your screen, uh, details of the system. This is a killer gaming rig, uh, the Falcon Northwest Talon, powered by an AMD Ryzen 7 3800X 8-core CPU and a Radeon 7 16-gig uh, GPU and 32 gigs of RAM and a 1-terabyte Intel NVMe SSD, all stuffed into this amazing liquid cooled desktop PC by Falcon Northwest called the Talon with some amazing graphics on it that are in keeping with the game you're watching here, The Outer Worlds. And it's a pretty cool game so far. Brittany and Chris here are uh, enjoying it, I think, yes. right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And we'll continue <clears throat> to play it for a little bit. So, yeah, we'll keep yeah. going. Yeah, it's 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 a Unreal Engine 4, I believe, is what's powering it. And so far... It, the lush landscape and the uh, the 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 deep um, you know player engagement here, and, and kind of impressive. I'm, yeah. I'm liking it so far. I could I could get into this. 
We yeah, yeah. it's good. Good stuff. <clears throat> All right, yeah. guys. We'll in, enjoy, Thank and you. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. But um, you guys keep going, and are you um, gonna jump back in at the end? Party on. I, I I may I may jump in to to see you um, to to harass you some more. But <laughs> All right. We'll <Okay>. see. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. All right, guys. Take care. Okay. Bye. 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 And for the rest of you, we oh, will keep. Let me uh, take his frozen yeah, face let's off take the a, screen. Yeah, <laughs> we'll take his frozen face off the screen really quick, and we'll keep playing for maybe another yeah, half we'll an hour or so. We'll let it go. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we're doing, how we're feeling. It is uh, dinner time on the Eastern Seaboard, so we may want to go and do that. Um, do I want to use? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we might as well bump the stuff. I stove. might. We might as well. And then. Um, let's do everything. I haven't done this guy yet. Yeah, defense is probably important. I haven't important. done that yet, and I haven't done that yet. And then we'll do One more range. on range. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I'm feeling. All right. Cool. So let's go back. And so we're looking for the power we're source. Looking for edge water. Oh. Which is the power source? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm really good at paying attention you to storylines. You are super lines, good at paying tell. attention in the storyline. Uh, so yeah, we'll be here for a while. Oh. And uh, as Dave said, we're playing in honor of the giveaway. Oh, there looks like something over there, but I don't know just, if I have. Should I try? Yeah, go for it. I'm just admiring the the purple light coming it's in. So and pretty. Getting that <laughs> alpine glow. Yeah, this is a beautiful game. For those of you, if you're joining us right now, we are, what is a tamed canid? That I sounds don't know. terrifying. It sounds, I mean, it's probably some sort of dog. It's something. That's it's, got quite a wild face. How many, Think you can take it on? Maybe. I'm seeing how many things are over here. Yeah, if you have any questions, comments, fire off in the chat. We're watching it. If yeah. you haven't entered the giveaway for some reason and you you're should. inside and you're in the US or Canada, sorry, we're not international, um, you can drop into the description, click the link to the Falcon Northwest giveaway. Make sure to enter. You got just gotta like a few pages, leave a comment. Yeah, super easy giveaway. And uh, tell your friends. The more the merrier. Right. And it's a super, I mean, it's an amazing rig. So definitely check it out. Even if you don't win, maybe they'll share. Yeah, maybe it'll be nice. And let you come play with it. Come on, you little marauder. Come here. I'm trying to do that thing. I My language is not always the best when I game. So I'm trying really hard. <laughs> to not call all these guys deeply offensive things <laughs> <laughs> okay that wasn't too bad that was like a beginner yeah that was a, a beginner bit. yeah so see you have to get really close so what do they call the bullet time thing in this uh i don't remember off the top of my head um okay Sorry. i feel like i want to inventory what do I have for medical? Yeah. Hmm. One. Okay. So the Adreno is for healing or yeah. like a stat boost? I think it's for healing. It is healing. Healing. Okay. So, and it's not an instant heal. It's heal over time. So. Yeah. So I just want to make sure that that is in the correct slots. Okay, that, well, was, that was fun. Yep, Devin um. <laughs> Shields in the chat says, my fingers are crossed, I need a replacement PC after my laptop burned oh, up. Oh no, so why did it burn up? Not a good place what to be. What did you do? <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, I've had laptops with fan failures before yeah. and have still continued to play on them because I was too lazy to replace the fans. And Don't be like Christopher. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't be like me. Don't be like It's not him. that hard to replace fans. I don't know what I was thinking. But do... that was then, this is now. It and is, we say it as we do. Hopefully you've got a good chance in the giveaway. We'll... Oh, that's a bad guy. Wish you and everyone watching some luck in that. 
And not only do you get the system, but you also, of course, get a copy of Outer Worlds with it. Yeah, that is If you're watching this game and think it's right up your alley as it is ours, uh, then you get even more mileage out of it. Uh, yeah, gaming on a seven-year-old laptop will, uh... That'll do it. Can cause some problems. Oh, no, this poor person. These poor people. Yeah. They didn't deserve that. Getting massacred there. Right? Where is the other dead person that I need to loot? Disappeared. So, hopefully the fluidity of the game is coming through on the stream. We did ha I did have to kick the stream down to 30 FPS, so you're not getting... Mm. The full 60. Is but the visuals the are pretty and that's what matters. Or do I need to go a different way? I probably, this does not look like the correct way. But it's so I pretty. Mean, I think I, for those joining, I think I meant, or mentioned earlier, I'm the type of person when I play a game, I like to explore everything, pick up everything, especially in the early game. Yeah, forget the main quest exists. Forget the main quest exists. Forget what I'm doing. That is quite a cemetery. Yeah. That's Though, you know what? I like that they... I, one thing that... Pet peeve. Pet peeve in a game is when they're like, all of these people have died. And you're like, okay, well, where are they? Right. <laughs> like, there's this... In Skyrim, for example, there's this town called Falkreath where they're like, we have a giant cemetery because we have all this history. And there's like seven gravestones. And you're like, that, that's not a giant cemetery. We can do a little better than that, you know? Whoa, hey. Oh, hi, friend. Silas, talk to me. It's also an impressively large city, idea. especially for a starter location. Yeah, for a starter. Location. It's in poor taste. Dressing up like a marauder is disrespectful to all the workers David that got or Devin time. Shields says he does that, too. Yeah. It's the only way to play these kind of games. Head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Low, low prices. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we named our character Hot Hardware. This is the first time we've said our name. So one of our dialogue options is, I never got your name. I'm Hot Hardware. Please make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. Oh, yeah. No, it's fine, man. Name Silas. Maybe you want some humor hand sanitizer or Yeah, some something. hand sanitizer. We're part of the Space's Choice family. Uh, there's so many options. This one. Definitely not the junior in humor. That's for sure. Oh, okay, You've silence. Got business inquiries. So I know a lot of times the depth of field effects in games can be obnoxious as you're running around and things yeah. are coming in and out of focus, but I do like it for these cutscenes to to help focus on who's speaking. It's a nice look. Freelancer. Depends on the job. Work. Are you offering me a job? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That Excuse includes me. the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Oh, that's Renting sad. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues. Side quest. Side quest. Side quest. Okay. Yeah. Poor workers still haven't paid. Devin says the game looks Phyllis, really good, Conrad, and we Ludwig, have to agree. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. And yeah. it'll look even better if you win the rig. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, unfortunately my system here only has a GTX 970 because I haven't upgraded yet. And uh, that's definitely pales in comparison to the Radeon 7V, whatever you want to call it, that's in the giveaway rig. Um, and Arbushi is saying that it is a good game, it has great replayability, and I'm sure it does, imagine. just because there's so many different ways to play it. Yeah. And such an expansive story and world that you're kind of never really going to have the same game play twice. I mean, look at Skyrim, it came out in 2011. With its open world and people are still playing it like crazy. And like I like I said earlier um, to Dave, like when the first time I play these types of games, I always play it from like the you know the good guy. Like I say the nice things, I do all the nice things, and then I feel like as the you know you do more and more playthroughs, you get a little bit more evil, <laughs> get a little bit worse. Mm -hmm. But you gotta uh, experience a little bit of the story You have to experience it all. You yeah, know, as long as you don't do it in real life. Space mm -hmm. choice company property. If those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, company's gonna die. Oh, they got body snatchers. Oh. 
That's gruesome. Yeah. You could look at it that way, I suppose. You could look at us and say, those Edgewater saps lost near every soul to plague. But you'd be wrong. We're surviving. Yeah, there is a lot of talking Royal in this. Company. There is a lot of Raven talking. I, I think I'm going to cut this conversation short. Friend? I can really go Looks like, is that a guard? Friend? Yeah, those, are, those would be guards. They're not friends. That's sad. Can I, like, there we go. Oh, no, I just want... To put it away? Yeah. Um. Anyone know how to... Um, sheath weapons? Yeah, look, see, look how massive. Is this more grave cards? Yeah, it's more... Well, uh, uh, I don't know if that's graves. I don't know. I mean, it could be. This is a pretty sad town. Yeah. So I could have some sad... I kind of want to go around the perimeter and see if there's any good stuff before... Hey, big crazy wolf. How are you doing? Good evening. Love this. Love this game. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. We actually do have a controller we here. We do, but, but mouse and keyboard. That's I mean, my preference. I'm sorry. So you're gonna hear that clickety clack of the keyboard. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna go around the perimeter of Edgewater, so I can take. Any loot, any and all loot. Can I open these doors? No. Okay. This could all just be actually for show. But I'm going to find out. <laughs> Another entrance to town. Another entrance that goes down to sort of this dock area. Yeah. Oh, here's see. See, there's stuff in here. <laughs> <laughs> More hmm. stuff? It's yeah. like a guard outpost or something? I don't know. I'm probably stealing all their things, but that's fine. Yeah. They can fight you. They can fight me. Oh, uh, yeah, that's Avoid apparently these. illegal. <laughs> Trespassing, lockpicking, hacking, and murder are all considered illegal activities and are frowned upon by society. Advice for you all. Avoid being seen if you want to engage in those activities. Don't take that advice without consequences. <laughs> well, welcome again, Big Crazy Wolf. Make sure you check out the giveaway that we're doing. Um, yes. The link is in the description to enter because you can win that system right there the giveaway ends tomorrow so this is kind of the last day to enter um it's if you're in north america at least sorry we don't have international shipping sorry everyone else tariffs and taxes and everything are a downer um but if you're in the u.s or canada definitely enter and tell your friends because it is a gorgeous system um it's jam-packed with awesome awesome hardware yeah uh, and if you're a big fan of Outer Worlds, the skin of it is Outer Worlds art. Yeah. And it is beautiful. Custom custom paint job just for this game, just for this giveaway. Um, liquid cooled, custom cabling. Um, you name it, it's there. <laughs> and... Yeah, no spoilers, Big Craze Wolf. Yeah, no, no spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> but if we are doing something terribly wrong, you can, you can give us a little nudge. You can nudge. give us, like, some nudges. Oh, poor damage mechanical sentry. Yeah, that's sad. I don't know how damage those... He says never. <laughs> I don't know how those lights and scribbles in his camera sensors are expressing sadness, but they are. It's, it's so sad. I love it. <laughs> you love it. Navigation it's so sad. We love it. Determine this location as spacer's oh, choice. Mechanical sentry, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> misdirect or confuse a spacer's choice mechanical is a punishable offense. Please report yourself to your. When you can supervisor. looking at getting in the game, yeah. Yeah. We are very happy to be able to play it. I've been looking forward to this game for a while, so I am excited that we can do it here for all of you guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, they graciously provided keys to us for the stream, yeah. for the giveaway, so we do have to extend our thanks. Yeah, um, extend our thanks to them, because this has been a lot of... Even just in the beginning, it's been... I, as I mentioned, I pick up all the things in initial stages. Um, this has been a lot of fun so Figure out what's far. junk later. Yeah. But I want it all, including pre-sliced bread. Make some extra coin. What a tarmac and cheese. That sounds delicious. And <laughs> gourmet salt tuna fillets. <laughs> so good. Is there, is there, I want, uh, I want. Can you crouch? Yeah. 
It looks like a chest. Yep, yeah. there we go. Lots of stuff. Sawed off shotgun. Always a good way to go. Oh, I stopped. So I think here. I think when we chose our stats at the beginning, we were looking at stealth and yeah. ranged because, you know, stealth archer. Stealth archer. That's pretty much I think like no matter what you always kind of in a lot of these games end up playing so hopefully we can pick up a archer. decent rifle or something and that's my favorite way to play anyway go full pretend yeah. i'm some sort of sniper that i am not okay so we probably should go into edgewater yeah it's probably about time probably about time i, think I like I've... i like that the um, the quest marker is not just showing, hey, go to this that. door. It's actually showing the distance, the depth within the city that you need to go into. Um, so are these cities open or is there a loading screen as we enter? Is there a loading screen as we enter? Yet? No. Ooh, more stuff. This is. Did I get that? I did get yeah. that. And look at all the stuff growing up the sides of the buildings. Oh, this is probably... Oh, there we go. I have to go here. Yeah, look at all of this. Can I go? Huh? Who are all these people? I don't know. Oh. Oh, sheesh. Go. Go away. No. <laughs> Die. Very nice. Do we have a melee attack? Yeah. Those are gross. Can I... No, I can't hack into that. Ooh, dehydrated water tablets. That seems important. Okay, I'm not. I'm not going to question dehydrated water. That's <laughs> that's fine. That's normal. That's normal. That's fine. I prefer my hydrated. You water. prefer your hydrated water? Okay, so there is. I just, you know, how much I love exploring every little mm -hmm. nook and cranny. Is that a weapon? Oh, oh no. Shunts. I don't know what we'll use them for. Okay, that so we don't have lost. any more lockpicks. Seems to be the answer. I know those are lights, but every time I see them, it, I'm like, oh my god, it's lava. <laughs> <laughs> it's like terrifies me a little bit. Evicted, evicted. What about that building? All right. Arboshi says he also prefers his water or his hydrated water ice cold. Yes. So shout out for all the hydro homies out there. The hydro homies. Okay, so I I should probably I should probably do something in this game other than exploring everything. Maybe. Maybe. And Devin says it's just a placebo. What's a placebo? What's a placebo? Dehydrated <laughs> water? Or. Speaking of. Bye the way, does anyone know how to sheathe your weapon in this game? Yeah. Because I feel just a little intimidating as I'm a walking around with my knife and gun and all of that good stuff. Ooh. Ooh. Nice find. Armor parts. He ex explore everything. Well, I think it was at the armor parts. Or no, he says weapon on the parts. keyboard. I do. So yeah, no, we're using. Um, we're using a keyboard. Yeah, we're and using mouse. a keyboard and mouse. We've got a controller next to us, but yeah, there's only there's only some certain types of games that I prefer a controller on, and it's not a first person per first person shooter. Oh, R. So is it just after it's been reloaded, or do you have to hold R? There we go. There hold we go. R. Thank there we go. you, Big Craze Wolf. Thank I you, felt, thank you. I felt, you know, a little weird running around um, with a knife, you know? That just that felt intimidating. I like all the different guesses that we had. Press H, hold E. Yeah, tried a lot of them. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Sometimes you wish there were standardized controls across games, but <laughs> then, you know, they yeah. wouldn't be so unique. Okay. 
So should we go to yeah, our dot? Yeah, I should probably go to the dot. I just want to explore everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's a big town. It is a big town. It's this way. Looks yeah. like it. Uh, what if I do that? <laughs> <laughs> Did it let you? Can I? Oh, you got it. It's a terminal. It's a terminal. Logs. Um. Schedule your sick leave. <laughs> oh. Be considerate toward other members of the Spacer's Choice family. Allow two to four weeks to process and improve oh. your scheduled uh, sick leave. They're asking you to turn just a mind. little slower. Oh, oh yes. I'm, I will do sick. that. I'm sorry. I can do that. Uh, just hit escape. Escape. And settings. Where is... And we should have controls. Controls, there it is. And Mouse just bump system. that to like... 12% or something. Try that. Yeah. I'm going to try 15. Sure. Okay. Um, escape. Escape. And resume. Is that better? So, uh, our bushes. You just go to a town or map and then you go somewhere else and have to start over again. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think that's kind of to get you out exploring is. Yeah. Well, the exploration is really. To kind of shove you in a new direction and. And uh, trying to keep things fresh with that game loop of finding stuff, upgrading, and seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do okay, have fun, Devin. Yeah, Devin says he's gonna get food and lurk. Welcome you at the gates myself. I'm are you Reed? I was told I should talk to you. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I must say. Wearing a marauder's outfit is in very poor taste. Well, yeah, you gotta fix bad. that. He's like the second or third one to respect. make that comment. I do what I want. Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement it, yeah, to it does run feel away so much larger. Wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Do you know how the scale of the map um, the compares to other open world games? Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. Which, I am most emphatically mind you, having a smaller map for an open world game isn't necessarily a bad thing yeah. because a lot of times games will be massive in scale, but they're very exactly sparse. And so you're just kind of have a lot of dead time where you're just going from place to place, and nothing's really happening. And so, you know, even back to like GTA 3 it was a small small map but it felt very expansive to play yeah. because there was just so much to do in it it was very very dense with content go down to the geothermal plant reroute power so i know I mean, we have seen some gameplay of this before so i know this is like the moral you can have their regular we're getting to that moral the question moral deciding part. yeah Okay, so Arbutus says the game is fairly small. It just lets you explore small parts at a time. Um, I think they explain but, they want to do the money and the constraints. Yeah. I was not yeah. Sure so far, we're enjoying it. Um, like Christopher was saying, happen, sometimes those open world games can almost feel a little too big. And like you're just doing a lot of walking. Right. I'd rather... I, I don't necessarily care how big a world is yeah. as long as it's well executed. And yeah, so far, what I'm seeing good. with this, they've nailed the execution. Uh, let's see. Why do I go and tell me what I need to do? What a surprise. I never would have. Oh, that's sarcastic. Um... No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. The people living <sighs> okay. in the labs, they're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them so to come home. Yeah, so basically... Um... <laughs> that's awful if you want me to solve your deserter problem i charge by the i head. mean i probably would charge by the head too if i was being forced to do it and just raise up my rate so Edgewater didn't is. have to do it but you know <laughs> we haven't hit our teach their own years. If we don't and big crazy wolf says this is probably his personal oh, sorry I'm, I'm assuming their 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 personal game of the year uh for, for sure. sure and i can yeah no spoilers see that no spoilers our bushy says, must bite tongue, no spoilers. I'm just going to say, how can I help? I don't even want to engage in this. Their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. No, I do know. To to I've seen I want you to stop by the in the, um, 
tell her the power I've seen in another dogs. stream the point Let's like where they leave the planet so I do know oh town. sorry I do know a little bit of what happens story-wise so that's not a total spoiler I know you, I know you'll have to choose between which community that you're going to end up powering so that you can take one of the generators for yourself so I do know that um how will I recognize Adelaide's Adelaide than the other deserters she's dignified kindly from what I understand her camp looks to her for leadership what if Adelaide doesn't want to come that back? That is not a hypothetical I enjoy entertaining. We need Adelaide back. Nonetheless, I will settle for the return of her followers. We belong to one community. The Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions... So I think we might go for maybe another 15, 10, 10, 15 yeah, minutes. 10, 15-ish minutes. Because... We gotta eat dinner at some point. <laughs> and neither of us has really had lunch. It's been a busy day. My dad told me all about the plants. Taught me all he knew. But yes, we're getting our body. Definitely make sure you stop by the site. Link is in the description for the giveaway. Over there, courtesy of Falcon Northwest and Obsidian and everyone. In an honor of our 20th anniversary, as yep. well as all of those companies are also experiencing anniversaries as well. Yep, it's the 20th anniversary of the uh, the Talon. Uh, build from Falcon Northwest, what? which is the chassis used in this build. Um, 50 and years and for and AMD. So I'm all set. <laughs> <Out now. laughs> she says, order out, keep playing. Oh. We would love to do that. We live in... Ooh, he's having sesame ginger chicken. Ooh, that does sound That really sounds good. delicious. We, <laughs> um, we don't live in an area where there's a lot of delivery options. We live in the great white north of Maine. And um, while we certainly don't live um, in a rural area, there's not a lot of takeout options in our yeah. area still. So. Dial-up is still a <laughs> very acceptable option up here. Yeah, so unfortunately there's just not a lot. So we do actually have to go out. We have Parvati. I, I do that. like all the 19th century names. We actually can get a gigabit at our house here now. We so can. I am happy yeah. about that. We're up to... It's megs. just more of our food takeout options. If we're going to go get something, we typically, we're kind of, well, where we live, we're sort of on the outskirts of where most delivery places will go to. Yeah, between two towns. We're kind of between two towns. Um, so we're at that edge where they're like, mm, no, but we're like, wait a second. <laughs> he says, wow, this stream is good. Okay, we got to dial up. <laughs> uh, 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 but yeah, since we're on the edge of kind of like two towns, they're, they're like, oh, we don't want to go and deliver to you, so. But we do love where we live. That's just one mm -hmm. of the the one downside. It's one of the downsides. You definitely should visit Maine, but make sure when you visit Maine, you don't just go to Portland. Yeah. Because that's really just like Boston North, or the trying to be Boston North. Um, <laughs> Boston you, North. You want to get up into proper Maine. It... Oh, she wants to talk. Sorry, I. You just want to get out of here. Go to Down East. There's so many beautiful places. I, yeah, I think the thing is, the Portland's great, and there's a lot to do in Portland. Um, but there's Maine is just so beautiful. The Western Mountains, the Eastern Seaboard. You know, there's just a lot to do. So explore it, enjoy it, and people are really nice. So mm -hmm. there you go. We can be. We could be. Uh, We're all friendly. They're becoming agents. a little more accepting <laughs> to outsiders. So this is about deserters. What? Was there about 20 years ago, and yes, Maine is gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. what, what parts Thompson of Maine did you visit, Crazy Wolf? It does its job quiet like. If it squeaks or stutters. What if his landlord's from Ottawa? <laughs> I was just it, yeah, uh, in Montreal. Used to take his motorcycle down there every year, and and yeah, there's there's a lot of a lot of good motorcycle riding. There's a lot of good roads around here. Yeah, um, or pretty roads, I should say. Windy roads, scenic roads. You do have to, to pay attention because, you know, Mainers talk. still have it. We're, we're, we're from away. So. We are from away. Yeah. We're, we're not native born here, but Mainers don't seem to have learned that there's other cars on the road yet. <laughs> so especially on a motorcycle, you do, you have, to be careful. you do have to be a little more vigilant. But uh, Especially depending on the time of year you come. Mm -hmm. As long as you just expect that everyone's going to run you over, you are probably okay. <laughs> He was because it's been so yeah. long I can't recall anything but the beauty. Person. Yeah, it is it is gorgeous. Made all the food mm -hmm. taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. All I know is she left after her son died. Well, that's real sad. big to do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. Can't yeah. say right? Why were they arguing? We gotta get we got more the information carry, we need. But not the words. If Mr. Thompson ain't of a mind to tell you his own self, you'd best ask Miss McDevitt. 
If we can get out to her. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. It just... It don't seem right to me, mister. No, no. I think we should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Vic. We gotta go talk to the vicar. We gotta have on a come to Jesus side. moment. Mm-hmm. <laughs> can't miss it. I need some uh, discussions of ethics going thing. on. There are some, yeah. No, and from what we've seen of the game, and I'm sure those of you who have played it more, there seems to be a lot of interesting ethical questions. So if that is your thing, we would definitely recommend this game. Uh, what do we need to talk to the vicar about? Flipping a switch in your power mill? About if what Mr. Thompson proposes to do is upright. Leaving Miss McDevitt's folk to their fate. Their neighbors. Kim. And maybe he can think of something else to try. Something we ain't. He used to go walking outside town. Maybe he found something that'll help. All right. It's just an idea. Let's see. Let's go find Let's the walk. vicar. Let's go find the vicar. I suppose it couldn't Thanks, hurt. Mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right So we wrong. watched Sean Plot play this game, Dana and play this game, and he had, like, I think, uh, easy to say, a little crush on Pravati. And just even this discussion with her, I'm like, I want to build up her confidence. <laughs> she, her self-esteem is so low, we need to help her. <laughs> so I sympathize now with him. Like, she's so, she's so precious, we need to help her. Well, let's explore the cannery a little bit, right? Let's see. Well, let's get to the vicar. Let's see if we can you get want a to little talk to the vicar? I want to try to get a little action in on the stream. Okay, let's go talk to the vicar. But, I mean, that's just something we're talking. Is it this way or the other way? Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm going towards the... Only you can protect fourth quarter profits. <laughs> oh, no, I have to go around the other way. Oh, wait, there he is. Straight ahead. Nope, is go he? back. Go back. Where am I going? Left. Left. It, it said his name on that one. Yeah, I know. That's where I was going. Oh, okay. <laughs> you were just running the other way. Well, then I, I thought you were talking about the other way. Yeah. Arbushi says they wrote her character really well. And yeah, Crazy Wolf precious. says Pavardi is such a sweetly written character. She and is precious. I just want to help her. Just the, the lighting effects in this game. Like, this it's isn't so even... Beautiful. This isn't even ray traced. And... Oh, he must be in here. No, I think it's, um, I think I just mentioned it. I think the fact that they use a lot of 19th century names is quite mm -hmm. interesting to kind of go with that whole wild, Gives wild west of... theme. He's, here's the vicar. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Yeah, knock off vicar the attitude of Vicar DeSoto. Vicar <laughs> Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. And Ms. Holcomb as well. How rare to see you out, and with a complete stranger. Curious. Just tagging along, Vicar DeSoto. Don't mind me. I so rarely get new people to talk to. And Name Crazy Wolf says this is going to sound great, greedy, but I can't wait for the next installment with the new Microsoft money. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, again, this this wasn't the biggest budget game out there on the market, and they did a lot with what they had. So what? expanding the budget out me. would definitely, or well, we would well. hope, would create yeah. an even I'm more immersive, expansive world. Um, in words you know, hopefully away. the soul of the game doesn't get lost so to corporate to profits. That would be fun. But that would be that'd be a fun irony. That would be a lot of irony. Hold on, the video says title says yeah. This is kind of a special edition of two and a half geeks yep so are. normally with the two and a half geeks we do just kind of the talking heads the podcast but because we have this life. giveaway ending um, tomorrow zero. we decided to actually stream the game that we inspired it um and so this is kind of the substitution really for two and a half geeks this week possible. but if you, you bring have any particular topics that, uh, that we've and covered and this week that you, deserve deserve you want to talk about feel free to bring them up in the chat and we can bat them around though uh Not we're getting near the end here yeah we're gonna be mind a bit of closing up shop advice. in a second yeah. food on your way to the food apartment. is important <laughs> it is not as safe as you might assume um but if you've been enjoying this game stream, then definitely make sure to like, subscribe, and when the VOD's up, leave a comment there, and maybe we'll do some more of these. It's 
sometimes tough, tough for us to find the time to uh, yeah. But, yeah, but do let us know going. if you would like to see in the future more video game streaming, if that's something you're interested in. Um, you said how the, yeah, thank you. That is nice. Um, but no, if you, if you guys would like to see more video game streaming of some kind in the future, like Christopher said, it can often be a little bit, you know, difficult timing wise. And of course, we do two and a half geeks as mm -hmm. often as we can, um, trying to be on a weekly basis. Yep. So uh, Big oh, Crazy Big Wolf, Wolf yeah. says, this is the first time I've ever watched you. What kind of things do you guys cover? I so Hot Hardware is primarily a tech enthusiast website. Right. So we cover um, all the big iron CPUs, GPUs, RAM systems, laptops, uh, smartphones, whatever. If it, Right. Um, and, and that's not just consumer stuff too, but we also do enterprise oriented, um, server chips and stuff like yeah. that as well. So make sure to stop by hardware.com to get the full site. Um, we also do cover things. We do cover video yeah, games we as cover. well as, um, science and technology in general. Just today, um, I, I wrote an article, um, about the SpaceX Starship, um, ex explosion. Well, explosion's kind it's, of a, it yeah. blew its top. Um, so we also cover information like that as well, as well as we go to quite a few public events and we'll update you on things like that. So we, we cover a wide range of things. Um, yep. This we, is just one of them. <laughs> so, yeah, if you're shopping for new hardware and you want to find benchmarks, um, we've got a, a, a lot of, of systems those. on there. They are usually the higher-end systems, but if you want to look at the components, we have a lot of a lot of components testing um, so you can get a sense of how they're going to stack up even if we haven't reviewed your exact system that you're considering. Um, and on the YouTube side, we'll have some video reviews. We have the... Two and a half geeks podcast that we try to do Thank weekly. You. It doesn't if always happen true, because right. of traveling and schedules and stuff. Here. But um, that's where we kind of meet together with uh, us and Dave and Marco Chiapetta, who's the other. Um, he, he's the our other editor. He, he's Dave's <laughs> he right hand man, lot. I guess yeah, you could he say. Does a lot. Um, and uh, kind of chat about what's gone on in the world of tech in the last week any right. new product launches that we've covered um and i feel like i should stuff. add too it's not always things like expensive systems and hardware um for example i just recently reviewed a wireless hdmi transmitter and receiver we've also mm -hmm. reviewed like a smart clock um yeah, so try and mix it up yeah things like that as well a smart watch which we have yeah. <laughs> right here we've reviewed that you know before as well so there's there's a mixture too so if you're like oh man i mean i love you know, computers and stuff like that, but the hardware and all of that, all those technicalities can feel really overwhelming. We have a wide variety of content. But sometimes and, it's nice to read about the stuff. And in sometimes, dream. yeah. And like, like I the, said. The, uh, the bigger brother processor to the chip that's in this giveaway system, um, the 3950X, the Ryzen 3950X from uh, AMD, it just kind of blew all the benchmarks out of the water. And, you know, even though... I don't have it on hand to play with myself, like just thinking about what it's <laughs> capable of. Um, but yeah, let us know if you would That's like fun. to see more video game streaming. I don't, you know, it probably won't be a regular thing, although maybe it will be one day. That would be awesome. But if this is the type of content that you do like, give us some feedback. We'd love to know. Yeah, because all these big systems are are nice, but... You got to do something with you them. You got to play games. <laughs> Should we explore the water area? And you know, if you've got suggestions for other games for us to to play and showcase. Um, Especially now that you guys know what kind of games I like. <laughs> Let us know right? what you want. Ooh, the water play. effects look it's really nice. It's really nice. Yeah, I'm just so... Um, he says, very cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I am very impressed with the graphics and everything yeah. in this game. This I mean, is that's... beautiful. It's really hard to get water rendered right. And it really is. Like just looking at how that stream coming down blends yeah, with the the bay and it's like seamless. You know, you get the little waves rippling back. I'm trying and to go forth very slowly for you guys, not to make you sick. <laughs> but I think yeah. I see a chest over here. Alright. We'll get the chest. And then and we, then should, we should probably, probably wrap up. It. So if for some reason, you're watching this stream and you still haven't gone into the description. What are you doing with your and life? <laughs> joined the and entered the giveaway. Um, you definitely need to do that. Thanks to the 
the folks let's, at Falcon Northwest well, let's just who keep are it here. It's beautiful. Yeah, that is beautiful. Let's who are there. celebrating their 20th anniversary of the Talon chassis that's used. Sorry, I need to point this way. I'm looking opposite on my screen. <laughs> um, AMD with their 50th anniversary and um, everything that goes together. So this system is literally packed to the max. I mean, it's got the AMD Ryzen right. 7 3800X, 8-core CPU, 16 threads. Um, it has the Radeon 7 or Radeon V, 16-gig um, GPU on it that's just a beast. Um, 32 gigs of RAM, so you're never really going to want for more in a gaming rig. Um, blazing fast Intel 660p NVMe solid-state drive, so you can store all your games and content, recordings, yeah. whatever you want to do. And, of course, a copy of Outer Worlds. Right. Because... you got to test the system. It, yeah. I mean, it has... Yeah. It's all custom paint job, custom liquid cooling, uh, custom cable sleeves, and it's... If you're in North America, you, uh, U.S. and Canada, you're eligible to enter... And we have the link in the description. Um, it's just, as we've mentioned before, you like a few social media sites. I've entered 12 of the 13. For some reason, I'm able, unable to comment on the one. I am not sure what's going yeah. on there uh, with not being able to com uh, so I, I guess, have you left a comment on the article page yeah. with Discus? Yes. And he uh, says, how does the... Oh. Got, yeah. Um, so the 7, how does it compare to the... 2080 the rtx from nvidia um i can actually pull up a benchmark and drop it in the link for you give me just a moment <laughs> we have a lot of windows open right now right and even saying um one gpu to another it's not always going to be the same across all game titles so right. you want to look at a variety of them so i've got it here i think in just a moment let me make sure it has the 2080 numbers we're looking for it we're looking for it <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and just drop the link in yeah. the description? Um, it should be in there. Yep, I'll drop it in the chat. We just have a lot of windows open, so. Yeah. <laughs> we, it's to the max right now. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the Radeon 7 is not going to have any issues playing. Right. Um, and it looks like it's there it maybe a, a hair behind the 2080. In, in most titles. Um, but not significant. You're, you're going to have a good time. <laughs> you're going to have a good time. Yes. So anyway, yep. we should probably leave it there. So the link yep. in for the giveaway is in the, in the description. As we've said, the giveaway ends tomorrow. You have to go to that page um, or that, that uh, post, I should say. I'm sorry. And um, there's a couple of social media sites to like as well as commenting on the post itself. Pretty easy. It's probably already the companies that you are interested in following anyway. These are all, you know, all friends of ours. So we're very fortunate to be able to give this away um, in honor of our 20th anniversary of hotharbor.com. Yep. And so make sure to stop by the site. Yeah. Like, subscribe. And Thank you for joining us this evening and uh, have a good night. <laughs>